In this video recording, I'm going to highlight how easy it is to download and install Maximo Mobile. I'm using an iPhone and I'm going to access the App Store and I'm searched on IBM Maximo and what I want to navigate to is the white hard hat icon. The white hard hat is for the Maximo application suite or Maximo 8 environments. Black signifies Maximo 7.6. So again, make sure you grab that white hard hat if you're using Mass. Now I'm going to open and so I'm going to follow along with what the app asked me to do. So that's presented to me in the blue prompt. So I'm going to simply select continue. I'm going to agree to the terms and conditions. And now I'm going to enter in the server, server address, excuse me. And as I do this, I'll try to make sure that I'm also keeping an eye on the time so I can show you how fast this is all happening. I'm doing this all live time. And typically the longest part is making me, making sure that I type the, the URL incorrectly. And again, in a production environment, this would be enabled via an MDM solution. So let me make sure, yep, that looks great. Click on the blue button. So now what's happening is he's asking me to sign in. I'm going to use user Ellie, and I'm going to now enter his password. And again, I'm just taking a minute to focus here to make sure I'm entering this correctly. I think that's right. Yep. Go ahead and log in. It's now telling me a little bit about biometric login information, and now he's giving me some information that he's setting up the application on my device. So I can get this immediate um, almost understanding of where I am in terms of progress of loading it. So now I'm on the welcome page. I see the hard hat, a little bit of information on the application. But if I draw your attention down here to the bottom next to IBM Maximo Mobile, you can see the cloud. That means I'm connected. If there was a line through it, it would mean I was disconnected. But also notice the circles spinning around. That means the data is being synchronized from the Maximo server down to my device, and in this case, my iPhone. I can click on that at any time to see what my status is. I didn't have any transactions to upload from my device to Maximo, so some of that has been you know, saying that it's complete. Configuration, it's successful. Functions are successful. Now it's bringing down the data. That's the longest part. I can continue to watch that spin, or if I want, I can click on the navigator. The navigator are those nine buttons, and now I see the date on the top and also the applications. And see how they're starting to populate with those arrows on the right. That means there's enough data that I can open them up. So for example, if I open up my schedule, what that is, is, oops, first I have to answer this question. Yep, you can allow while I'm using the app. What the um, my schedule is, is a list of work orders that I need to take action on. And you can see Ellie here has four records and I can scroll down to see that information. And, and also, if I wanted to see what my materials and tools for the work is, I could look at that. I can come back here to the navigator and notice as I do that, all my data is complete. That circle, spinning circle, no longer displays by the cloud. But also it's saying, hey, do you want to get a tour to get started? Sure, I always like a good tour. It's giving me some information on the navigator, creating records, my user profile, and how I return to the navigator and starting my work really, really quick. Boy, this is so fast as everything is being downloaded. Let me just take a quick peek at my user profile again so you can see what's happening there. There's my user. Over here is the cloud. It's telling me all the information. You do see a message here that the preloaded database could not be done. There, You do have the option to create a Maximo mobile database. I didn't do it in this case, but in, my, in most cases you would but it's not a problem with the amount of data that I'm working with. So again, really, really quick to get this enabled, Maximum Mobile on your mobile device. Thank you.